When you're connecting to a network these days, you've got a few different options and which one you pick will sort of depend on the scenario you're in. So two questions you'll immediately ask yourself is, okay, do I need to be able to move around when I'm using this uh, device to communicate with a network? And how many devices do I need to connect together? And we'll go into which one's best for which situation. Uh, but let's start off with uh, sort of the easy one, wired connections. You've only got one option that you need to worry about there, one flavor of wired connections, and that is ethernet. Now you might have a computer in your house which is connected using a cable um, to a, a switch, or you might have some of these at schools where you've got a uh, lots of cables sticking out of the back of your computers. And these, were, what you'll see in your house is that you'll see an actual cable come out the back of your computer uh, and it will connect to, or you might even call it a Wi-Fi router, but this is actually will actually be operating as a switch and a router combined in that sort of situation. And the question is, why might you do that? My, why might you use this wire? Um, and there's well, straight up advantages with it. First off, it's got the highest bandwidth of it than any other mode of connection. Now that means if you're downloading files, it will download them the fastest because it, you can have the maximum number of zeros and ones go through that wire in a second when compared to sort of wireless options that you have. So the highest bandwidth is the first thing, and that's faster downloads. The second thing we look at is that it's got the lowest amount of interference compared to any wireless connection. Now, interference is important because when you are dealing with interference, it ends up with pieces of data going missing, this thing called packet drop. Uh, and when that happens, it slows everything down because packets need to be re-requested. So because wired have got the lowest amount of interference, it will give you the fastest response time. Now that is particularly important if you're doing things like uh, playing fast games um, because any time that uh, the computer is missing some data because of interference it has to make a guess about where another player is and that's when you start seeing them jumping around the screen but there's a straight up massive stinking disadvantage to ethernet and it is all about this this wire it means that you cannot move about it's got to be fixed in one location and that can stop you from doing a lot of different things so let's have a look at wireless connections now and why you might use them and uh, some advantages and disadvantages of the different flavors of wireless connection but first off for all wireless connections a couple of things that we need to understand an advantage of it is that you are mobile that you can move about and that can give you loads of different options when communicating to a network that you didn't have before so now you can browse the internet whilst you're walking around your house or you can do things in a shop floor and communicate and see how much stock you've got in the back and things like that very very simply and not you're not tied to a computer whilst doing so but the disadvantage is that we are dealing with interference now, much more interference. So you might have a wireless signal which bounces off a wall, comes back and interferes with a signal that another device is putting out and that causes a, I mean, wireless devices to get confused and packets to drop. How much interference depends on the flavor and we're gonna talk about this in, in a moment. So your first flavor of wireless is Bluetooth, okay? So Bluetooth. And you wanna use Bluetooth when you are connecting two devices together really that's the main reason that you would use it um, and the great thing about bluetooth uh, networks is that you could have many of them happening at the same location so for example you might have a bluetooth speaker uh, communicating with your smartphone and at the same time you might have a wireless uh, headset for example communicating with your pc to play some music over that and the great thing about Bluetooth is that you can have multiple Bluetooth networks in a single location. So you can have a lot of these different pairings going on in the same physical space. And they won't interfere with each other anywhere near as much as they would do in Wi-Fi because it uses this thing called frequency hopping. If you imagine sort of bouncing around different frequencies, different types of radio waves, um, it will it will do that to sort of like stop uh, devices from interfering with each other. It's quite a clever sort of uh, invention. So that is a huge advantage. Disadvantage of Bluetooth is really the bandwidth sort of idea. So you've got the lowest bandwidth when you compare it to either Wi-Fi um, or when you're comparing it to, uh, to a wireless connection like Ethernet. And obviously it's fairly limiting because it's really designed to connect two devices together. All right, what about Wi-Fi then? Wi-Fi is when you're connecting more than two devices together wirelessly and it's got a higher bandwidth when you compare it to Bluetooth. But its biggest disadvantage is that it's subject to the most amount of interference. Now this could be between uh, devices on the same network or it could be between competing Wi-Fi networks. So you might have an, your Wi-Fi network at home um, competing against a neighbor's Wi-Fi network next door. 
And basically what happens, because you've got so many devices and because the, the sort of the protocol is not set up to deal, uh, deal with lots of different devices, you might end up with your, uh, I don't know, your phone, for example, communicating to uh, the wireless access point, whilst at the same time your laptop's trying to communicate um, to the wireless access point. And if they're in the same location, this happens, the signals sort of overlap and the wireless access point sort of gets confused, okay? Uh, and obviously the more devices you've got in a small area, the more this keeps happening as they're trying to communicate with each other. So that is a huge disadvantage. So which one you pick really sort of depends on the situation. If you need to be able to move about, then you're really talking about wireless. And then if you're dealing with more than one device, then you have to use Wi-Fi. Otherwise, Bluetooth is an option. But then if you don't need to move about, you might want to consider using an Ethernet cable, particularly if you're just wanting the fastest possible way to download a file or the fastest response times for playing games. And there are the different ways of connecting to a network. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.